guys, it's Mary Ellen. I hope you're having a good week. And today I'm planning for the week of May 20th to the 26th in my big happy planner. This week is kind of cool because the happy planner squad and I have decided to use um, one of the five original sticker books or several or whatever. Um, just use the, one of these to plan this week because we're doing like a squad sticker throwback and you can follow, you can look on Instagram. The hashtag is going to be squad sticker throwback and you can see everybody's spreads that they did with one of these original sticker books. So today I'm going to be using this one, two, three, four, today is the day sticker book because out of the five original ones, this one is my fave because there is florals in here and lots of pretty colors, lots of pink and stuff. So I actually don't have any ideas yet. I'm just starting out with this, but the first thing I saw were these and I thought I would use like one of these for gratitude. So let me just see what color I should use because I'm going to be using some of these really pretty florals. And I think, let me see, maybe I'll use some purple this week. That's really pretty. So I think maybe orange since I'm using the florals and there's kind of some orange in there. So I'm going to start off with this box here. We'll just see how it goes. I wanted to do it in my classic happy planner, but I had already... Um, which like my social media planner, but I had already done the, the spread for that this week. So I did not use that for this, but um, I'm doing it in my big. And actually I'm using pages from the Boho Dream Planner instead of the Daily Details because there was like a lot of green and yellow on the bottom and I didn't like it. So, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. That is my gratitude box. I kind of like these weekend stickers. So why not? Let me just stick one down right there. Okay, now I'm gonna go to, well first let me see, are there boxes in here? Like functional boxes. I really want to stick to this sticker book instead of using colorful boxes, but I don't know. Maybe I just won't use boxes this week. Okay, that was really frustrating. I looked and I wasn't recording because I ran out of storage space on my iPad, so it stopped recording. So anyway, at least I noticed it before like I did the whole spread. So uh, I just added these really cute bright flowers with, um, you know, the, the words on them. I think that's Pretty. And then I just decided to use the Doodlebug Design Scallop Washi on the bottom and on the top. And now I'm going to go in and use some of the Skinny Washi from the Happy Planner. And probably in black and then just fill in the middle lines. And then we'll go from there. Next I am going to go in and add some purple, like I said, and, or maybe I didn't say it, maybe you missed that part <laughs> when, I, when I cut off, I don't know, but, um, and then I'm going to probably layer some purple and black and some pink, um, just, and then obviously orange, since I already brought orange in here, and then I'm going to grab some big quotes, most likely, so we'll see. I think I'm just going to um, leave space for writing in my appointments and not use boxes this week. I know that I always use boxes, but it might be fun to do just a little bit something different. So I'm sticking this down, trying to get it even. There we go. It's always nice to just layer like a, a quote box on top of like a patterned box. I just really like that look. And now maybe that, let's see what else is here. Big 
quotes that are in here, so I do want to use a couple of those. And then maybe I'll get this and put this down and then lay, just to bring purple on this side and then layer like something on top of that purple. Maybe like a, instead of layering another um, one of these boxes, maybe I'll take like a, I don't know, I'm kind of undecided here. Maybe one of the other original books has some boxes in here. I know I used, used some of these already. There's some like white ones with lines. That's interesting. Um, that's some of these. Okay, let me look at my calendar here. Figure out what I got going on. Look at my phone calendar. And let's see. I don't have a lot going on this week. It's kind of a pretty free week, so. But I do always have stuff that pops up. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer one of these on top of this, and we're gonna put it on Friday because I work Friday, but also like I might get plans throughout the week, like for Friday night or something. So I'm gonna put this down, should I put it here? Let's put it right here. Just layer that right on top of there. There we go. That brought some purple in, but didn't like, it kind of mirrors that, but doesn't, you know what I mean? It's just something different. So I might use a couple of these. So let's go back into this book. And, hmm. Actually, I'm changing my mind. I want to use one of these on, I don't know if I wanted to say important, but I could also use the pink ones. I might be bringing too many colors in. What I need is some orange, but I'm gonna put this over here. Should I? You know what, there's a couple of things I need to remember to do on Monday, so I'm gonna use this as like a little to-do list instead, because I kind of like how that balances out better. Now, let me just flip through this book again. Sorry for all this flip through. I could use a couple of these for like what I need to, like for the gym actually. So I have the gym on, this week I have the gym on Monday because my gym's closed Tuesday and Wednesday for repairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one on Monday and one on Thursday, and then one on Saturday. I'm just gonna use purple just to match the other purple boxes on the page. Okay, so those will be for the gym. And then, now I think I'm just gonna go in, I wanna try to find some more orange to kind of match that, because I don't want that to be the only orange on my page. That would be a little weird, but there's not a lot of orange in here. Maybe there's an orange quote in here. Let's see. Or celebrate, but like, I could use this. There's a little bit of orange in there. I don't, I'm not celebrating. <laughs> it's kind of a boring week, so there's no celebrating involved this week. Um, that's really all I see. There's this, I could use this little circle. Okay. This will just pull in a little bit of, I know it's not the same color orange, but it'll pull it in so that it's not like the only orange on the page over here. And that makes me feel a little better because there's a little orange on this side as well. I'm almost done, honestly, but let's see. Like I said, I wanna pull in a couple of these quotes. So let's just look at these. 
nothing major, but I do love these big quotes. I could bring this Be Present over here, but that's really black, so it's like really prominent, so I don't know if I wanna bring that over there. Let's see. Trust your gut. I could bring green in since I have the green leaves. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put this under don't forget because that's a very important thing to never forget. And I've made that mistake in the past of not trusting my gut and then it's led me to some poor decisions. So let's be sure we trust our gut always because it never fails us, it really does not. How about this pink happy mind? I'm gonna see if that fits over here for like, kind of for the gratitude section. Yeah, let's do that. That makes sense to me. All right, so I'm almost done. Let's just see. Kind of like this, dream, believe, do, repeat. But I don't know if it really fits anywhere. I'm going to see if I can use that though. I might like overlap it on here. I think that looks cute. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it alone because it's going to leave a lot of space for writing if I need it and also for decorating later if I don't need the writing space. And I'm not going to put any to-do lists, um, like icons or anything like that. I will just write them in where I see fit. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fantastic week and a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye.